please subscribe to the channel thank you hi friends welcome to free online tech videos my name is Ravi in this video we are going to see about chmod command chmod command to change the file assigned directories permissions okay so how we are going to change the files and directory permissions and how chmod command is useful in day-to-day -day scenario so this is the most used command uh, by the linux administrators uh, okay almost every day one time uh, the chmod command to be used on the uh, daily basis okay so now we are going to before that so before going to into the command we have to understand that the permissions uh, values okay so what we do here the chmod command and we provide the permissions on the numbers like uh, 777 something like this and provide the file name or directory name so that the file or directory name uh, the file or directory's permissions will be changed automatically to the whatever the values you provide here so but what is these values we should understand now okay so the there are two types of things we can represent so one is a numbers representation another one is on a character sim character symbol which can be used for setting up the name permissions so if you see the number zero is no permissions which means that if you assign a zero 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 then the file is going to be a no permissions okay none of the uh, users or the groups are is going to be have permissions okay if you assign one it means that executable permissions if you assign two which means that it's an a write permission so the in a symbolic link it shows like x w if no permission the source hyphen 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 something like that okay if the value is three so what does mean by the value is three in the sense execute plus write execute plus write in the sense one plus two equal to three so like this you can provide four as an a read okay four value four is read and value 5 is read plus execute so read is 4 and execute is 1 so 4 plus 1 is 5 6 read plus write okay 7 read write execute so most of the people they know like uh, ch mode triple seven so triple seven in the sense read write execute read write execute read write execute okay so in the character symbol you can also assign the permissions to the users the you represents here is an user or the owner of the file or the directory okay g is a group okay which group that has a permissions okay o it means is that others which means that the he is not the owner or the is not the user is not the group part of the group which is assigned to the permissions okay so which are not comes under the users or the group they call it as an a others so a in the sense which comes users plus groups plus others which comes a in a sense all the users and groups others will be given the permission so like this so if i'm going to console and explain you the way this exactly permissions pinch in okay let's clear the screen here ls ls just list out the permissions here so here the permissions will be reflected okay so the first one the first three values here will represent as a user okay this one is the user is root okay if you represent the second values the second three values here which goes to the group here is the group so root is the username and the root is the group name for this file and this value represents here so the the three values here will represent this means that others others in the sense who are not part of the user are not part of the group okay they call it as an others which which are the users who has the access to this system in the sense in the system there is a user they comes under others okay so this is about the 
simple scenario like where the users groups and others permissions will be modified using the chmod command so how we are going to use that chmod command okay to change in order to change the file permissions and directory permissions okay i'm going to create some uh, files here okay sorry directory here okay ravi and kumar i just created two directories and there are some files already exist now i'm going to change the permissions for the sample file to 11111 let's go and see sample file permissions has changed or not yes changes so what does mean by one one in the sense executable and so why we are giving triple one triple one in the sense we already discussed about users and groups and others okay here if you assign one this one is represents the user permission here and this one represents here as an a group permissions here and this last one is represents the others okay users groups and others that's why always if you give the numeric values you have to give the three values if you give one or two so it does not accept it it will is going to be misfire ch mode command now i am going to assign all read permissions to the sample file again now what happen execute permissions go off and read read permissions came in again i am going to assign some write permissions to the file write permissions has been came to the file in this scenario what we understand the understanding is here is that if you change the permissions okay example if you change the permissions of the file you should remember you should remember the previous values example here i have the execute 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 here i don't want to remove these permissions here i wanted to add read to it then what you have to do in order to do that if you are going with any numeric values what always recommended is that first to see the permissions and add these values to here example 111444 okay 4 plus 1 equal to 5 like this three values okay 4 plus 1 4 plus 1 Five, five, five. You have to give the five, five, five. Then here it will come. Read, execute, read, execute, read, execute. Let's do that. See, now value has been changed. we can also do on a combination of the changing the permissions ch mode 77 ch mode 755 like this you can change the permission see read and write execute full permissions for the fotv file and um, read and write execute for the user and read execute read execute for the groups and others on the file one file like this you can provide the file permissions using the ch mode command okay now if you want to modify some file permissions or if you want to revoke some file permissions for the particular file what you have to do you have to remember the previous permissions what was there then you have to add the new num numerical values so by adding the plus or minus then the value should be executed on that file so this is going to be a sometimes typical for us like uh, 
one file has an uh, already permissions has been sent you don't know like all of the sudden you just executed some permissions then the file permissions got changed you did not remember the previous permissions what was there on that file then it's going to be a messy to avoid such a confusion or to avoid such a things you can use numeric in, instead of using in a numerical values you can use alpha characters like u g o a as we discuss users groups others and all example i have permissions here for the one sample file read and write read read i have if i wanted to add execute permissions to the user then what you can do ch mode u place to add the permissions u place one sample and go and see that sample file sorry one sample so execute permissions has been added without remembering previous permissions you can simply add whatever the permissions you want if you want write permissions to the group you can simply do in place of z place w and go and verify that one sample file the group has added with the write permissions likewise you can use users groups and others permissions using the numerical instead of numerical value you can use this alpha values like ch mode u g o plus read write x for the one sample file so i given full permissions read and write execute for the users groups and others if you want to revoke then what is the method you have to do okay i want to revoke all the permissions read and write execute to the one sample file so permissions has been revoked nothing has been here you can revoke like that you can add using the plus sign you can minus the values using the minus value minus and you can revoke the file permissions using the minus values likewise you can set some permissions okay there are some other permissions also like uh, sticky bit as uid and uh, sgid uh, as there but those going to be in a lengthy process and it should be explained in detail that's why i'm not going to explain in this video session i will create one more video session for separate for that uh, things okay i'm going to explain in detail for sticky beta and uh, sgid thanks for watching stay tuned please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask